Okay, as you can see by me showing you this video picture of my cell phone, that is September 30th, 2013 at 9.18 a.m. This video uh, prediction file is even being tape recorded on a running digital tape recorder that is recording. I gotta cover up this camera for one second because I need to move to another area so I can show you something. And I don't want certain things to be seen. Okay, now, do you see this this tree right here? How it's fallen down? Okay, that's the tree right there. This is the environment that I'm in. And that I've been making prediction videos for the last 10 months. That's right, actually 11, sorry, 11 months. See, this, this tree is a landmark concerning where these video predictions have been made at. This is the area. This is a fallen tree. I gotta walk back over to where I just came from, so I gotta uh, cover up the video camera for another second. Okay, now. <coughs> Excuse me. My name is Elsie Williams. I am a target victim and activist concerning the criminal expeditions of what is known as organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking. And don't let my occasional laughter uh, steer you away from the extreme criminality that this, that, uh, this type of criminal expedition uh, does to a targeted individual. Now, targeted individuals like me have been covered on national TV shows, national radio shows, local news broadcasts, and... Uh, what we basically try and do, uh, first and foremost, is survive the criminality that is being cleverly perpetrated towards us, while trying to expose the criminals that, have been, that can be identified, and the places that have also been used in the criminal expedition. And it is very hard to prove these criminalities are happening to us, because a lot of it is designed to uh, have plausible deniability, a lot of it is designed to be able to produce reasonable doubt, the criminals in the system that are attached to these crimes also use their employment descriptions to try and discredit the mental stability of a target. Um, the targeted individual is financially uh, vilified, and nil uh, financially nullified, socially vilified, and uh, so what we try to do basically on a daily basis is survive this crime and uh, keep our and to be totally honest with you, a lot of targeted individuals end up, well, a lot of them end up committing suicide. I'm not suicidal or homicidal. Don't, don't mistake what I'm saying here. I'm just trying to tell you about what's happening to targeted individuals in general. Um, a lot of targets are even driven crazy uh, as a result of what's happening to them because of some of the technological resources that the perpetrators have. Now, you can go to YouTube and type in Timothy W. Bioethics Issues. And then look at all the YouTube videos that are in the sidebar once you bring that video up and you'll, you'll, you'll come to understand what us targeted individuals can experience. Now I'm a good woman, you know. Uh, I don't stand on a corner and wave, my ba wave a banner stating I'm a good woman or, and I don't believe or think that I'm better than anybody else and I try my very best not to judge anybody. But my Heavenly Father did, me, did give me the ability to discern what's right and wrong and to be able to discern anything that is happening to me or to innocent individuals in the community that I either go through or live in. And I have an unmeasurable love for my fellow targeted human beings, an unmeasurable love for human beings who are, who, who are just pretty much everybody, except for the criminals. I have no feeling for them. I pray for them, but I have no feeling for them. It's dangerous to feel for the individuals who are perpetrators of this crime because they will take advantage of your goodness and it can lead to brain entrainment. And I, I'm not going to, I don't have the time right now to explain in depth what I mean by that. But if you look at enough of my videos, maybe you might get a general idea. Now, as a result of me being a target of this crime and the perpetrators wanting to make sure that I always am aware that I am, in part by them doing so, by having individuals in the community get around me everywhere I go and have them repeat certain things to in order to make me mentally aware that I'm being stalked. 
and in part one of the one of the ways that they're doing this is to have excuse me is to have duped individuals get in the community and either repeat certain physical gestures words phrases and or sounds that's right and they also have people get around me in the community to parrot or mimic things that I did in the privacy of my cell phone online or things that I got in the mail or sent in the mail that's right now this is what organized stalking and gang stalking does Okay, when it comes to the general harassment, this doesn't include the devastation concerning how we are blacklisted from employment if we're able to work. Uh, it does not include the uh, staged vehicle accidents that the perpetrators will perpetrate against a targeted individual. It does not include the total financial devastation, including even wrecking our credit deliberately and intentionally. It also includes how they will create homelessness of targets to put them out on the street for exploitation purposes. A lot of these individuals who are perpetrators are in the system. Police officers, firefighters can be, and I'm not saying all police officers and all firefighters. I'm not saying that at all because there are a lot of good firemen out there and there are a lot of good police officers out there. But I'm here today to tell you, fellow American citizens, that the syndicated corrupt police officers and firefighters, they, these people are so friggin' criminal that they'll literally even put a fellow firefighter or a fellow police officer in harm's way if they feel that getting them to do something for them against the target can help them. Them. This is the literal criminality of these expeditions. Now you can go to Google and type in the Hemet Police Gang Squad being gang stalked along with some Riverside public officials. Google it. Trust me. And if they had the audacity to uh, go after police officers who are just trying their best to do their job, to put their lives on the line, to you know keep our community safe, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? You know, uh, I do what I do, not just to keep myself safe, of course I do what I do to keep myself safe, but I do what I do because I don't want any individual, whether they're being currently targeted or a community member becoming targeted and not, not being able to survive as a result of being ignorant, which means not informed. That's why I do what I do. And I spend what money I can afford, I gotta carefully say that, um, to expose these criminalities. Now, I don't do what I do because of revenge concerning what the San Diego police did to me in my life, which literally, literally, literally murdered my ability to have children. And they even get online and mock me about that, okay? Because they want an emotional reaction from it. They want me to hate them because hate wears a person out. That's right. Along with everything else that they top on the pile of what they do to you. That's right. They count on general psychology and your own personal psychology in order to tear you down to wear you down. I don't do what I do because of revenge. I do what I do because it's the right thing to do and doing the right thing is never the wrong thing to do. Now, as a result of them wanting to keep me in a cognitive neural mental loop in reference to me constantly thinking about them as a result of the harassment that they want me to see that is geared, steered for me to see concerning me by having individuals get around me everywhere I go and repeat certain physical gestures, words, phrases, or sounds Words being gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk. Oh my God, we're crazy gang stalk, gang stalk, gang stalking, gang stalk. We're crazy gang stalk, gang stalk. Oh my God. And another word that's got the initial CH that has nothing to do with me whatsoever. And I can look anybody straight in the eye and tell them that. I'm not afraid of anybody's perception concerning me because I know who I am. I know what kind of a person I am. But even they will, they will even get around targeted individuals and call them names in order to try. Because when a person's in, a, in, in being victimized, when their whole entire life is being victimized, because they go after every area of your life, they will also get around the target and call them names in order to. Because when you're being victimized, your your your, how can I say it? You you your sense of. Hang on a second. Your civil rights are being raped every day. Your, the truth is being raped every day about what's happening to you and then people in, will internalize that because because everybody likes to feel confident about who they are as a person everybody likes to feel safe what they try and do is put you in a victimized mindset and then batter you psychologically batter you as it's happening by calling you names in order to distort your self image of who you are by calling you weird crazy and other names that's right. Even though what they're doing is totally out of the, the realm of normalcy, and what they're doing is totally, completely crazy. But these individuals, psychological operations is a big part of organized talking. In fact, a lot of targeted individuals call their blogs psychops. 
gang stalking and psychops. Now, I'm here today to tell you right now to your face. Okay, you don't hear me saying that the Santa Barbara police or the Hemet police or anybody else is involved in the gang stalking of me. No, because right now they're not. Okay, but I'm here today to tell you flat out to your face that the San Diego police are. I know it for a fact. For a literal fact and I had the proof to back it up. But these criminal skanks will do everything and anything. Everything and anything. Okay, to make sure that their criminality is never exposed to the public to the extent to where it's a threat to them in their employment, that's right, and their reputations. And they'll even call me crazy and even possibly eventually attempt to put me in a county mental health because they're syndicated to doctors as well in order to discredit me on paper and possibly even to try and attempt to institutionalize me because these are the literal methods of gang stalking. Now you can go to Google and type in a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know, a manifesto of a manager of gang stalking. And it's not everything you need to know, but it does give you a good... <coughs> ...template of reference that you can build on over time if you decide to research these criminalities. These people are involved, excuse me, these people are involved in human trafficking, sexual servitude rings, prostitution rings, land co-opting, property co-opting, trust fund liquidation, identity theft, uh, mortgage co-opting, uh, they're targeting the elderly like you would not believe, the disabled, and anybody that's got a fixed income like a pension. Uh, their uh, Agenda 21 is totally connected to these crimes. Um, you would not believe what I know. And they're targeted anybody and everybody that they can. Single women, single mothers, veterans, which burns my butt up and down the road. You would not believe how mad that makes me. But I what I don't let my anger serve them. What I do is I use it creatively for energy in order to apply it to the creativity that I am using mentally to box these people and to expose them. Because that's what they they try to provoke targets along all the routes every day. You wouldn't believe how they're using the community to gang stalk targets, including well let me just put it to you this way. Are the employees at the law library engaged in gang stalking? Will they lie about it? Will they call me crazy concerning it? Do rattlesnakes commit suicide? I think not. Also at UCSD, Ralph's employees. That's right. All right, I got to go. I'm in San Diego County. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a good woman. Okay, and when, when I say that, it means I pray every morning. I read my Bible every night. I try my best to do what I'm supposed to do. I don't break any laws. I don't bother anybody. My behavior is appropriate for each and every environment that I'm at and for the whole duration while I'm there. They try to provoke me through clever means along all my routes. Um, and I'm not saying every day, but they at least harass me every day by reintroducing things that they have me sensitized to that are actually designed to blend in with the everyday environment. Certain physical gestures and so on and so forth. I have over 700 audio files in my possession right now in real time that show gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalk, and gang stalk. Oh my god, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalk, and gang stalk. Oh my god, we're crazy, gang stalk, and gang stalk. Being set around me continuously in that way flat out proof. Alright, I gotta go. So we're gonna see if any incident occurs concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me. If I'm banned from UCSD on any date, the law library on any date, any any San Diego public library on any date, especially the North University San Diego Public Library, any business, definitely Ralph's. Definitely Ralph's or Villa La Jolla Plaza. Now, the business cooperation is achieved at least through what is known as the offender's notification and or the community notification, which is being illegally and criminally used against totally 100%, 100% innocent individuals so they can expedite their criminality in a cost-effective manner. Go to YouTube and type in Listen to a Stranger. I gotta go. This video prediction is, is being made not to just include today's date, September 30, 2013, but for the next 14 calendar days. Thank you.